All right, so this is uh, the tutorial for the homework of um, this past Wednesday, the 12th of April for uh, the character rigging. All right, um, so in class, we, we did uh, the left arm. And for homework, we're going to do the right arm. And uh, that leads me to um, say that uh, the homework is going to probably split up into uh, two parts. Probably two parts, maybe three. Uh, the first part is going over setting up the arm, the right arm. And the second part is going to be a small mini tutorial on setting up the the legs pole vector you know where you can have the uh, IK legs you know the sticky legs the stringy legs have it um, you know bend the knee the pole vector just like how you guys made it for the elbow and that's fairly quick fairly quick maybe what 15 minutes tops and finally the last big chunk is setting up the the legs the blend um, blender between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics for the legs so yeah probably two parts maybe three just to make it more organized all right so for the right side uh just an update i've i've uh cleaned up the word document some more and organized it better um, in regards to the right arm so I'm gonna upload that after the video is done and I'll make an announcement to use that file okay it's more refined and and whatnot and a little bit more organized color-coded too in a way and it should help out a lot all right so uh, the right arm and again the purpose is to be able to blend between the forward kinematics and the inverse kinematics right um, from here I need some room so like these kind of things I'm gonna left click drag out get rid of it right here as well left click and hold drag out and delete it and uh, even this the second to last row click it drag out get rid of it all right so that gave some more room and i don't need my shelf right now so right over here left click drag it out all right get rid of it good so it's a lot more streamlined okay now so when looking at our notes here, right IK, FK limbs, first thing you want to make sure is our joints are visible. So in my display layer, I'm going to just turn on visibility, right? I don't know how yours is set up, but um, I got my IK, FK. I turned off the references. Now also for the original joint chain system, I got to turn off the reference turn on visibility okay and furthermore within the outliner okay sometimes maybe maybe I gave you a file that was uh, cleaned up or because perhaps your rig was um, broken beyond repair then maybe I might have hidden the root while cleaning up maybe maybe not there's so many things going on. Regardless, select the root, press H to show it if you don't see it. Okay. So this is what should have what you should have in your uh, viewport right now. You should see your original joints. And with that in mind, let's clarify the joints. Some students still seem to be confused. You got your root joint. Okay. I'm gonna hit this button over here, right here, view selected. 
isolate selected to only see that. This is your original joint system that you made, okay? Several of you said that uh, something about deform, right? That's, that's what it was named, remember? This is your main original joint chain system complete, where it's all linked, okay? Has deform. And like I said before, this joint system is bound to your character's mesh, the 3D mesh. Remember how I made you guys do that uh, skin, skinning the character way back in the very beginning, the first or second week? I think, I believe it was the second week. So it's bound to it, okay? So there you have that. Then I'm gonna turn off the isolate selection. You should know that by now. And I wanna show that you have the upper arm left and right. All right, these guys right here. And that's the IK upper arm left, IK upper arm right. You know what? These as well. I'm gonna show that. We have to clarify these things. So, IK, that is your inverse kinematic specialty joints. Remember, these are just specialty joints, right? For your IK, your puppet string style of a rig. So, you have that, all right? Then you have your FK, which is in here. This one is grouped, where I grouped I have the, all the FK stuff, see, FK, and they're grouped. I don't know if yours is grouped or not, but regardless, it doesn't really matter. I could just ungroup if I want, just to clean it up. I think I went over in the tutorial as well, one of them. Uh, now, mm, here, this is your FK. I'm gonna isolate selection. So you only see that. Remember, it doesn't have any of the bones for the fingers. This is a FK, like the armature, like the armature joints, you know, forward, bending, rotating, all right? So we need all of that. All right, uh, and then, and then, um, okay, uncheck that. All right. So we got our explanation going on. Um, also, do not rotate, do not manipulate the joints. Uh, I said in the beginning of the semester or the beginning of the project, do not manipulate the joints. You manipulate the controllers. That's what they're meant for. Do not manipulate the joints. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is, uh, let's hide the stick, man. And I don't need show over here. I'm going to detach that right here. I'm going to hide the IK handles, just in case something crazy happens. Hide the IK handles and hide the locators. All right, IK handles and locators are gone. All right, I've hit it in the viewport. Okay, then we make sure we have all the three main joint systems are available, right? This guy right here, the root and the FK and the IK. Right. All right. So they're available, and they're all unlocked. Okay, and they're showing here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select this whole section right here, like how we did in class. Left click, marquee, drag like that. And as you can see, it already starts selecting some things. Press F, and you see. We select that, that, and that, all right? And you could look up here too. 
IK upper arm, but there's more than that. Got the FK as well, and the deform upper arm. Then I'm, I need to select this section. Hold on, shift, left click, marquee, drag, let go. Now I selected that. I can verify this by pressing F. Expand this out, this, and this, and this. We got our three sets going on so far, good. Now I'm gonna zoom in, all right? And from here, maybe on the flip side, okay? And as you can see, I'm gonna zoom out right here is, is when the wrist joint ends and the uh, other carpal joints begin. I just want this right here. So I'm gonna hold on shift and I'm gonna carefully just marquee drag like that. See? And let go. Okay. It looks like all of this is selected. Right, it does. But let's just see if it did. From here, I'm gonna press F. Okay, so I'm looking, got the hand, FK hand, deform hand. Let's open that up. Oh, look, it did not select the fingers, which is good. It just looked like it did. And F, uh, F, I, K hand, right? It's all good. And here, we're good. All right, so um, from here, we did all of that, all right? Double check to press F, right? All of that, all of that, all of that. F K, deform, I K. I'm gonna select all of this, right click and strike it through. So I did that part. All right, now, since we select all of that, now I need to go back into the node editor. Uh, space bar, and I wanna set up a two panel layout so for example maybe this panel here perspective panels layouts two panes side by side boom this one i want it to be my perspective panels perspective perspective this one i want it to be my node editor panels panel node editor here we go All right, so I need these bones to be in here. How do I do that? Well, remember it is this one, that icon. Add selected nodes to the graph. Here we go. Zoom out a bit. First thing I wanna do, I'm gonna select all of it. Within here, I'm gonna press P to pin. Just the P, do not press Shift P, just press P. All right, so we pinned it. That is important to pin it because if you don't, when you refresh the view, it's going to go all over the place. Um, so now I need my IK. This is your IK joints. I'm going to dump it on the top here. The FK joints, select it, grab it, put it down here. Okay. FK down here, IK down here. I repeat, IK up here, FK down here. Now for the deform, I'm gonna just start yanking upper arm, forearm, hand, okay? Making sure again, they're all pinned. Now I'm gonna click, click. Ooh, I can't see that too well. All right, and zoom out a bit, click, 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 click. All right, so it's getting a little bit tight in here, but it's okay. All right, something like that. 
And now I gotta expand, expand, upper arm, IK, forearm, IK, hand, I, IK, space bar, and zoom out a bit, I gotta resize it right. Okay, the FK, click, 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 click. All right, so check, 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 check. So we got our, our um, work table set up and ready. All right, so we did that, we did that, we did that. We pinned it. Now we have to make the uh, blend colors, okay? So uh, in here, press tab. Type in blend colors, blend colors. Not the blend colors set, just the blend colors. Click it. Here it's made. We'll, we'll select the press P to pen it. Blend, blend colors, space, and I'm gonna put down uh, F K I K space upper space arm space right, and I'm gonna make a copy of it. Command D. For the Mac, press P to pin it, name it forearm, and it is forearm right, enter, check, check, and then uh, command D, name this one. Hand right. All right. So upper arm, forearm, hand, and labeled right, right, right. All right. I'm gonna expand, expand, expand. And remember, I told you guys, um, this is just your. Uh, I don't know, I, I just call it the blending machine. It's gonna blend between two different types of joints, your four uh, IK joints and your FK joints. This is your intermediary to uh, blend it together. And then once these are blended like this, like this, like this, they will all uh, blend back into the deform joints. And I'll try to explain how and why they are so. All right, next, let me uh, cross out all of this, strike it through. All right, uh, we named it good. And just a reminder, color red, right? You have two colors. One is red, one is blue. Color one is red, color two is blue. All right, color one, red, it's going to correspond with the IK. Color two, which is blue, is going to correspond with the FK, which is why at school it was going up and this was going down. All right. Right click, strike it through. All right, linking the FK and IK joints to the corresponding blend nodes. So now, Again, let's just quickly uh, update and review saying that on the left side, that is your inputs, right? This node on the left side, these are inputs. They have actual functionality and the right side is the outputs. You're inputting into something here, into these slots and outputting into the next uh, machine. 
you know, into its input. Output, input. All right. So the IK forearm right. This is the IK forearm right. This is the joint represented as a node box, right? I need to uh, take its rotation output, rotation, right, output, which is on the right side, click it, pull on it, right? Remember I said on the right side is the outputs. And like in my PDF, I need to take out its rotate output and I need to plug it into the input, all right, input which is on the left side, all right, of the forearm blend, the blending machine forearm. Whoa, hold on, where's my uh, upper arm? Ugh. Why did it delete? Anyway, so this is a uh, IK upper arm right, upper arm right, right. Good. IK upper arm right. All right. So IK upper arm right. It's output rotation. Right into the input of the color two. No. Color one. Stupid freaking. All right, rotate output into color one input, right? Color one input, which is on the left side, right? Rotate output, his output going down into the blending machines, color one input, right? Because this, bl this blending node is going to blend between him and him right between zero and one so this is that little machine then the forearm i need to blend out his rotation output into the input of this forearm his color one output of the rotation into the input of color one forearm forearm then i have my ik hand again rotate output i need to take his output for his rotation plug it into the color 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 one then for my FK joints, my FK joints, previously was the IK joints, I need to take his rotate information, his output of it, plug it into the color two input, right? Because the input, the cut, the inputs are on the left side, outputs on the right side, right? Then, all right, upper arm, upper arm, upper arm blender. So forearm, right? Forearm blender. His rotate is gonna plug into the input. Plug into the input of color two, left side. Next, hand, the IK, FK hand. His rotate plug into color two. So now we have a uh, system going on where the IK upper arm and the FK upper arm, they can now communicate and coordinate with each other because of this blending machine. And the way they coordinate is through a zero to one blender, right? But it says color. This might as well just be anything. It could be color, it could be whatever, you know? But this is oftentimes used in uh, shaders and stuff. But it's now being used for rigging. So we linked it all up. Good. 
right click, strike it through. Next, now I have to link the blend nodes, right? These blend nodes, they're linked, right? To their, uh, you know, complementary joints. But now, but these blend nodes are now doing nothing. They're just blended between him and him. But now they have to complete the system by um, connecting it, connecting these blend systems, all right, this hub into the main parent system joint, which is the deform. Remember, the deform joints is what is bending and whatnot for the character's mesh, right? This is the main system of the joints. That's why we remember we named it deform. So these guys, they have to communicate with the parent system, blah, 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 blah. So, all right, uh, let's begin. The blend FK hand right, right? Here's the hand right blender. Its output, its main output, okay, which is on the left side, remember, output is going to plug into the right hand. It's a complementary joint, the form right hand, and it's going to plug into the rotate input. So when this guy and this guy, when they communicate and start blending, you know, between uh, those two systems, after that, com that communication is done, this hub connects to the parent uh, deformed hand and it does the um, crossover, which I'll, sh I'll demonstrate it in action. You you'll see. I didn't do it as, I didn't show that part in class, but you'll see it here. So, all right, we did that. Output into the rotate input. Next, I have my forearm, right? It's output, what it's outputting, I'm going to connect it to the forearm, deform, forearm, right, into the rotate. And why the rotate, right? Why rotate? Why not scale? Why not translate? Well, the parent system, it, for the most part, it manipulates the joints through rotation. Not so much translation, but rotation. That's the, the default rotate is the one you want to go after. And that's the reason why it's plugging into the rotate. Uh, next, output, right? FK upper arm right, output into the upper arm right deform into the rotate. Because the rotate is the main form of uh, movement. All right, so we connected all of that. Not too bad. So we have the system set up, right? But how do we activate the system between forward and inverse kinematics? And all the while in between, you have your main deform joint chain parent system, right? You have three sets, one, two, three, and you have this hub in between, you know? Well, you need a, a control to turn it on and off, which would be this, the master switch for all three blend nodes. This, this, and this. So I need to select the uh, FKIK switch arm right. Spacebar, zoom out. So in this one, I did not import it, but in class you guys did. I'm going to do it now. File, import, scenes, stickman. All right, import file, control FK IK switches, double click. Here it is. All right. Um, let me clean things up. Okay, should only have that. All right. 
Should only have that. Should only have that. Should only have that. Good. So, uh, arm right. Here it is. Okay. You guys already did this, so don't do it again. Just please don't do it again. You guys already did this, so just let me catch up to you. Press V as in Victor. Alright, I have the move tool. I'm going to snap it right there to the upper arm location. Alright, I repeat. Do not do what I'm doing unless you are not in class or you missed this step. Left. Because if you do do it, you're going to have multiple duplicates and this is going to wreck everything. Alright, so left. Press V. Hold on V as in Victor. That activates the snapping. Snap it to the upper arm location not the shoulder but the upper arm right good you know what? let me do the leg too then here's the leg leg switcher hold on v as in victor snap it right there let me grab this one the right side hold on v as in victor snap it right there Hey, why are my locators showing? I thought I hit that. Hide IK joints. That was weird. I thought I hit this. Whatever. Alright, so check. I'm gonna save it. <sighs> Fine. Alright, so, uh, but, as you can, alright, eh, hey. this one doesn't have data, oh, that's weird, anyway, so, um, these have data, in school, you guys already, uh, froze it, and, let me just, uh, modify, freeze transform, you guys do not have to do this, but you do have to, well, let's say your switcher, right? On the right side for homework. If you have numbers in here, you uh, freeze transform. There's a chance some students didn't pay attention to that part. So if you have data in here, freeze the transform. This one obviously has data. Freeze the transform, modify, freeze transform. This one has data, modify, freeze transform. Good. Ignore this. This is not history. I repeat, this is not history. It is not history, it's something else. Okay, so we did that. Um, now, I'm gonna grab the switcher. This controller, his main purpose is to serve as a visual function to turn on and off. And we already have the IK to FK switch. I repeat, we already have the IK to FK switch, which I already put in for you guys in the beginning, just to try and make things faster. So don't make another one. So just ignore this. All right, I repeat, ignore it. Also ignore that. All right, all right. So we did all of that. All right, space bar. I need this. What the hell? Why is this? All right. I don't know why this is here, but I don't have a auto updater on, but if you see this, don't panic. Do not delete it. I repeat, do not delete it. Do not delete it. All you're going to do is just select all of it. You're going to go here, remove selected nodes from graph. All right, 
Do not delete it, just remove it. Okay. Um, so I need to grab the switcher, the right arm, FKIK switcher, which is here. Okay. From the outliner, from the outliner, I'm going to middle mouse, click and hold. Then I'm going to drag it and dump it here. And it's going to have these guys back again. All right? Do not delete it. Grab this. All right? This guy right here. Press P. Just P to pin it. Grab these and hit here to hide it. Not delete it, just to hide it from the node editor. Now him, the switcher, open, open, expand it. Here's the switcher. So what's happening now? Well, the switcher, right? Think of it as a machine, right? This switching machine, right? This contraption, it needs to be delegated and connected to this system so that it will serve the function, not serve the function, but so that the blending, right? Because the blending system is made, right? The mechanics of the blending between the two different types of arms is done. But I need this, I need this switcher, okay, to, um, to turn to turn it on and off okay and also to, to turn on and off the visibility right so there's two things okay but before that oh you saw that you see how I did that right you saw how it just uh it, it um con how it went smaller right I was pressing the space bar this will happen and you and you're gonna think like oh my god what just happened you know did I break it you know because I was panicking right it just has to do with this cursor in here you know you press space bar it does that it's so annoying you know but if you press if you if you type something right right or see now it's not working again god damn But it works, it's not broken. Right, I just press enter. You know, if you press enter, it'll open back up. It's so annoying. See, spacebar, spacebar, it does that. You know, you press enter, it opens back up. It's so annoying. Alright, so if that happens to you, just don't panic. Uh, Alright, so from here. All right, so we dropped it in. All right, we uh, got rid of the squiggly lines. All right, we expanded this. Okay, so from here, spacebar. I want to demonstrate the um, the blending that's been made so I'm gonna show the stick man the mesh okay press 5 space bar all right and the four kinematics all right press E as an Edward I'm gonna move it forward you see that like I like I said I am rotating the controller the controller the controller I am NOT rotating the joint I am rotating the controller as you can see in this here okay and you see how it's moving forward now maybe I'll oosh oh, no. okay see here it is and when this is rendered in animation, the joints does not show. 
and the controllers does not show. All right. I'll do it like that. And then here's my IK controller. All right, my IK. Well, yank it. You see how it's, uh, you know, interacting? See? Ooh. Doesn't like that. That's why you have the pull vector. See? But anyway, this happens because it's flipping. You're pushing it too far back. The joint can't handle it. So right there. All right, so that's what I have. I have your, I moved it across so you can see, okay? And as you can see, here is my original joints, All right? You see the one in green? That is the original joints, see? Original joints. So like I said before, the blending machine is communicating between the IK and the FK and this here is your main like I said so many times your main joint system that is um, driving the mesh and while that is happening to have more control you can either choose between IK and FK right so that's the whole system I, I need to explain that again because it's easy to just not understand. So we have that. And then... Alright, so this is not working yet. Alright, so it's not working yet. But in the blender... Alright, the upper arm. Double click. So here's the blender, okay? Alright, the blending machine. All right and this is for the upper the, the ik lower is the fk right in the blending machine right now it is at 50 percent which is why it's right here in the middle literally 50 percent but now if i pull the dial see when when it if i pull it to zero right that means it's turning on the uh, if I, when I turn it to 1, it is turning on the IK, the stringy type of uh, puppet. But, and this is the upper arm, okay? The upper arm is controlling, see? And if I turn it back off, if I turn the IK system off, which is 0, it activates the uh, FK, which is the circles, right? See? And then let's say there's my forearm, right? I can bend it like that. See? So there's a bit of a don't mind this where you have this uh, in between, right? That's just the uh, FK and the IK communicating and just averaging things out, right? So I'm just, just showing that. See? All right, so as you can see, the FKIK blending system is working, right? And right now, it's being manipulated directly through the blending machine, the FK, right? And then you have the forearm. So the forearm, if I blend it towards one, which is the, um, one is for the FK I believe right or is it not wait wait watch watch, watch. so there one is that so that means okay if I go there all right zero means it is hundred percent being manipulated right you see how there's no overlap between the green original joint system right so the forearm okay at zero Zero means it's full FK. Zero means full FK. One means it's not. It's kind of... Yeah, it's not, basically. Does it still control? Yeah, see? See? At one, right? At one for the forearm. The forearm, this guy right here. At one, one means 
that the FK joints has zero influence. But when the blender is set to zero, the FK joints have full influence, right? Okay, good. So I have to discuss this. this is, you know, I just have to. Okay, same thing for the hand, but let's not talk about that. So the hand, all right, let's, let's place it all to, uh, again, place it all at 0.5 again. I repeat, let's not take risks. Place it all at 0.5. If you, you know, had, were uh, messing around with it like how I was just now, select everything, place it at 0.5. I repeat, place everything at 0.5. All right, set it back to default, 0.5. 0.5, 0 0.5 for the blender. For the for the controllers, leave it like this is fine. For the sake of demonstration. All right. So next, um, we did that. I have to now. I'm gonna connect the FK IK switch arm, right? The it's IK to FK switch. Um, All right. So here's the FK IK switch arm. I need to take its FK to IK switch, which is here, this slot, right? Which is this, okay? Correspondingly, this is this. So I need to take its, uh, output which is always on the right and I need to plug it into the blender into the inputs which is on the left grab the outputs plug it into the blender outputs plug it into the blender see how it's going this way the arrow good all right we're good we're good Okay, yeah, let me um, strike it through. All right, All right space bar, let me just double check something, my controller. See, now the controller works. I repeat, now the controller works. Whereas before I was using the actual hub to turn it on and off, remember? Right, remember? I was using the hub, see? But now, when we did this, linking it to that blender, linking it to the blender, linking it to the blender, okay? The connection is real now, it has a real mechanical connection so that when I have the switcher right, and I do the actual on and off, see, it works. All right? again, zero, and I should go over this. Alright, so this part is critical to understand. I repeat, this part is critical to understand. Once you understand this, the rest of it would be hopefully 10 times easier, okay? Including the legs, all right? So this part, please pay attention instead of just like copy and do. All right, so, so we have our controller. Zero, okay? Zero means that the, again, this is alive and active. Not the visibility, the visibility, but literally the mechanics of it is live and active. Zero means that the IK controller system is shut off, zero. One means the IK system is activated and uh, FK system, which is the circular setup controllers, 
is turned off. Right now, since it is zero, that means the FK system is running 100%. For example, if I grab it and I rotate it, see, no problem. Again, I grab it. Again, not grab the joints. See? Very nice. Beautiful deformation. See? 100% control. Even down to the wrist. 100% control. Right? So, zero means FK system is activated. IK system is deactivated one watch it's gonna this thing is gonna move now see one means the fk system is deactivated and the ik system is now activated see don't mind that that's just the joint the, the elbow joint flipping out it happens it's normal See? Don't mind this. That has to do with skinning, painting weights better. But I don't think we need to do that. This is an intro course. Probably drive you crazy. Alright, so uh, yeah. So the system is alive and good. Now all we need to do is... Uh, set up the visibility right mechanical features are set now all we have to do is set the on off for the controller visibility right that's the one where we got into a bit of a hiccup during the class lecture but we uh definitely fixed it afterwards okay now what are we gonna do Uh, well, let's look at what we got here. Alright, so... Uh, we have to set this to animation module. Because I need to go into the key section. Pull up... The... Set driven key set driven key right here key okay here we are again remember this guy all right so we have our driver which will be the uh, ik switcher and the driven which will be either the fk circular joints or the ik controllers all right all right so this part i rearranged it you will be able to notice it's slightly different more uh, cleaned up and i also color coded it so um first the we have to set up the the driver and driven maybe instead of gray i'll just put no color all right driver is the IK, FK, IK switch arm, right. I grabbed it. Here's my driver. It's the switch arm, right. Driver. Load. Driver. Bingo. Um, you know what? This will help out. Guarantee, and this needs to be done anyway. Select the controller. Okay. Select the controller. Obviously, this everything here should be cleaned out. Freeze transform, right? Don't mind this. This is not history. I'm going to highlight that all the way down to here. I highlighted and clicked down. Do not select this. Everything else you select, you're going to right click. And you're going to right click and hold and you're going to choose hide select hide selected boom all you're going to see is this okay and in here 
it hasn't updated, it's, it still shows all this junk. I'm gonna, oh, as soon as I select it, it updates. So now it's cleaned up very nicely. You only see what you need to see. So I'll do that. And then, so we got the driver, second column, IK to FK switch, check, select it, right click, strike it through. Now, what's gonna be, uh, um, oh, uh, first, everything's gonna be um, headed, everything's gonna be led by the state of our controller. I repeat, everything that we do is gonna be led by the state of the controller. Okay, so the first state of our controller, right? We're gonna set in the in the channel box. It's IK to FK switch. We're gonna set it to zero. Here's our IK to FK switch, right? I'm gonna set it to zero. If you're already at zero, that's fine. You see how it flipped, right? This is fine too, because basically we just turned on. When you press zero, we turned off the IK system and we turned on the FK system and that's why it snapped, which is fine. So we turned it to zero, okay? All right? And then strike it through, right? Okay, then we're gonna, so when this is zero, right? Uh, the FK upper arm, right, right? All right, you see the FK system for kinematic. I'm gonna just grab that. I repeat, I am only going to select this circle. Here it is. It has data because we uh, rotated it, remember? Which is fine, do not freeze transform, do not attempt to freeze transform, it's gonna give you just an error telling you you can't. Select it. Okay, so I selected, why did I select it? Well, I need to uh, set a keyframe for its visibility because we need to uh, set up its on off switch regarding specifically for its visibility, not its mechanical uh, blending but it's purely for its controller visibility all right so upper arm right upper arm right is visibility set to on set to on all right and i'm going to key it now set driven key oh but before that i gotta make sure that it's in my uh set driven key panel right now there's nothing being driven so I got load driven. I repeat, load driven. Okay. If you accidentally press load driver, right? Because it can happen, you know, don't panic. All you're going to do is remember that our driver is the switch. Load driver. Now we're back to good. And our driven is still the upper arm right. This switch is driving the visibility of the controller when, you know, when the on off mechanism happens. So right now the controller is set to zero, right? Zero means, okay, remember zero means that the IK system is off, but the FK system is on, right? So if the FK system is on, right? I, I select the FK system in here. I, I make sure that the visibility is checked on it. All right, so my computer had a massive crash. Um, but uh, luckily the recording still got saved. Uh, if not, that would have been really bad. All right. So I talked about how the visibility for the controllers in regards to the set driven key and also in relation to the FK IK switch arm, right? 
So what what am I talking about, right? Well, uh, I was talking about how the visibility, right, to turn it on and off in relation to the on off of the IK versus the FK controller flipping on and off, right? So the controllers also have to correspond on and off. So what do we do? How do I explain this? Try to explain this simply, right? All right, so from where we left off, I made you guys set it to zero for the switcher, right? Set it to zero. And I said that when this it is zero, that means the IK system is off, but the FK system is on. Right? So, if the FK system is on, that means its controllers have to be visible. Right? If the FK system is on, its controllers have to be visible. Yeah? So, as you can see here, upper arm right, right? Well, first, the switcher more importantly the switcher is set to zero right set to zero because this is driving this is dictating what the hell we're gonna do set to zero since it's set to zero the fk it has to be on because that means zero means the fk system is on hence big letters right so i make sure i have my i can select it in the driven Okay, because it's still selected here as well. Have the visibility, right? Because it's uh, we're 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 uh, basically you know making it the visibility thing thing happen, right? So you know, have it on, on, right? Now we have to key it to activate it. To activate, it's on visibility. So let's activate it by pressing key now it's in blue and correspondingly if I look here that little activation why the hell is this not pinned? that activation corresponds to this the switch right its visibility is now linked this is the link right it's linked through a keyframe on and off visibility keyframe here it is okay different setup from this all right so we did that uh, i gotta save this thing just never know okay so this and this all of this needs to be on right you know, because they they correspond with each other. All right, so um, we're done with that. Okay, so I keyframed, I keyed the on visibility. So now logically, I have to key the off visibility for my FK controllers. I can't just leave it on. I also have to set the off switch basically for the FK controller which are these circles right so as you can see here right right set the IKFK switch to one oh um, this should be for the so annoying hold on See, this is not easy this is literally writing directions and an instructional book all right so bear with me you can you know all right never mind after a while things just start to look like just jumbled 
letters. It literally does. Alright, so uh, the FK IK switch arm right. Alright. Yep. Yeah. So, so far, it's at zero. Right? This switcher is at zero because the FK, right? The FK system is currently activated, right? Because zero means FK is on, and zero also means IK is off, right? So, with here, now I wanna switch it to one, right? The uh, switcher, switch it to one, which means on. No, no, no. Switch it to one, okay? Which means that the IK system is now on. I repeat, when I set the switcher to one, it deactivates the forward kinematic system and it activates the IK system, right? When I switch it to one. Previously it was zero. So, since I did that, which means I activated the IK system. I need to, con I need to select my FK, right? Because it's still visible, right? Even though my IK system is now activated. This guy needs to turn off and get out of here because it's going to be confusing. So, here we are. I selected the FK, right? Upper arm, right? The visibility is still on. I want to turn it off. Right, which is good. But now I gotta uh, activate it in the keyframe. Set driven key. So, key to activate the off switch. Click. Okay. But you know, it looks like you know nothing is happening. This is why there's no confirmation, nothing. All it says here is result one. That's part of the reason why all this crap starts to get confusing. You know, there's no verification, nothing. You know, you only have this guy right here. So anyway, whatever. That was set up. Okay. All right, so this was set to one and we turned off our FK system, all right? Because now the IK system is activated. All right, so far so good. All right. Okay. Lastly, um Well, you know what? Let's see what that hard work did for us. Select the switcher and with the this slot here, I can click in here and with the left mouse I can drag it to the left. Okay, why isn't that working? Now it's working. All right, so if I, it's kind of, if I click here and then inside here, it should, right. You, you just gotta deal with it, it does this crap, right? But the left click, right, it does that. Off, a zero means IK is off. And the FK controllers are visible. Well, when switch to one, one means IK system is now on and FK system is, the controllers is off. Okay. The last thing we got to do is set up the on off visibility switch for our IK system. Because as you can see, it will still be visible regardless. See? See these guys? They're still visible. But these guys are working. Right? So we're good. Alright, next. So what am I going to do? Well, alright, so this still stays the same. Because that's the switcher, right? Alright, the driver. Check and check. No big deal. Now, the driven has to be the pole arm right and the IK hand right. These are your IK system. Right? 
that's your driven. All right, so I'm just gonna grab him and him. This guy right there. See? And I'm gonna press on load driven. Boom. You got your IK pole, which is this, which controls the elbow bending. And you got your hand, which is this. Alright. Let me save it. Alright, so now we're gonna basically do the on off visibility, right? So, alright, let me get that. Strike it through. Okay. First uh, thing. Um, the main, the first system we're gonna do is one, right? All right. So let's uh select that, okay? And I'm gonna just switch it to one. It doesn't really matter zero or one, but I'm just gonna follow the directions that I put, you know. Uh, okay, so one, all right? Cross it out. So basically, with one, that means our um, one means that the IK system this and this is activated right it is activated if one means these controllers are activated then logically it means their visibility have to also be activated right because right now there is no keyframe which would be in blue right so let's go ahead and do that um, first of all our pole arm right Make sure I have the visibility selected and right and make sure that my uh, switcher is set to one right one means the FIK system is on right so here we are visibility is on makes sense key boom if I do a space bar you see we have additional inputs. Whenever that first keyframe is uh, made, here we are, the pole vector. Good, all right, that's neat. Then we have to do for the hand, turn on his visibility, right? We have it selected, visibility is on, just to double check. We're gonna key it. Oh, there you are. See? See, this is what I mean by when you don't pin it. It'll do, it'll do this crap. Alright. Press P to pin. Just P. No shift. Just P. Alright, so. We uh, activated its on. Its visibility on switch, right? Oh, get rid of that. So annoying. Right? Hence that big old bold letters one. Alright, so visibility on, key key. We did both of that. Strike it through. Now, logically we have to do the um the off switch. Right? Can't just leave it on visible and on forever so I need to go back to the main switcher the driver right which is why it's like that now I have to set it to zero which is big and bold okay set it to zero which activates the forward kinematics which is fine right it's doing its thing and then now 
I need to grab, for example, the pole arm. See how I already selected it and its visibility. I gotta turn it off because, you know, the forward kinematic is now activated, right? So I gotta turn it off, which is zero. Now it's hidden. Now I gotta set the keyframe to, to um, make it work, make it start working. There. But it doesn't show because it's already here. It doesn't show on off keyframe. It would be nice if it had that, you know, on off keyframed, but it doesn't. All right, so we did that for the pole arm. I'm gonna save it. Lastly, for the hand, right? Because this guy is still showing. Let me grab the hand in here. Make sure that's active. Make sure all of this is blue, right? Now I gotta turn it off. And it's gone. But, you know, we have to finalize it by keying it. And result. And that should do it. Alright, so. Spacebar. I'm gonna save it. I got my uh, switcher on. Okay. Off. Yank it. Now it's on. My IK system is on. And the visibility is corresponding. And my FK system is off. And this controller's visibility is corresponding. Good. Now if I go to zero. Now my FK system is on. The visibility but my IK system is controllers visibility is off okay good all right so that was everything so that was uh, 17 minutes on top of the already one hour so that was one hour and uh, 18 minutes um, yeah I had to ex try to explain it as thoroughly as possible uh, to you know make it better so yeah so that's uh part one of your homework as long as you just you know deal with my rambling you'll make it through because i literally explained it as thoroughly as possible so that it will make sense you know hopefully okay and uh, you should be good to go if you have issues well maybe i should have said this in the beginning but um i'm gonna email the class regarding if if your left arm is still broken uh, to email me, I'm going to send you that backup rig where the left arm is good and that you all you have to do is the right arm, right? Because like I said, main thing is the effort given in class and whatnot. Okay, so that is um, that. Oh, also, when everything is set up, right? Um, set the rotations back to neutral see rotation this is regarding the controller i repeat this is regarding the controller do not mess with the literal joints uh, see right now i can't see the ik right so you know what turn it back on now that i turn it back on i have the controllers and i can uh, reset it See? Awesome. This guy doesn't have anything. But you see it's in blue. So we're good. And if you notice, one last thing. See how it twitches a bit? That's fine. It, it does that. There's a difference between the IK system and FK system uh, regarding the pole vectors. The elbow uh, kind of twitching a bit. But this is fine. Okay. All right. So yeah, that's everything. All right. So uh, I'm gonna make the tutorial for the um, pole vectors for the legs. All right. It'll be fairly simple. Nothing like this craziness. And that'll be the other mini tu mini tutorial assignment to do that has to be done as well. And lastly is the other major one, which is the legs. Okay. And as well as the legs, I will go slow and steady 
and I will explain mechanically what is happening. Okay. What the hell? I will explain what is happening mechanically. Alright, so that it'll, it'll try to make some sense out of it. And I'll have, hopefully I'll have this list as well. Okay. Alright, that's it. Bye.